Oh, hello! Welcome back to my Chanel. Today I'll be talking all about my first time on the Gothic cruise. I first posted about the cruise and that I was going about a year ago now, I think. Time really does fly when you're having fun. And if this is your first time hearing about the cruise or you weren't able to go this year, don't despair! There is another one next year. As soon as I find out information about next year's cruise, I will make a video about it just for you. But if you do book next year's cruise, please let all genre travel know that Vessel sent you. So. Without further ado, let's dive into my experience on the Gothic Cruise. We flew in the day before the cruise because I've heard way too many stories of people flying in the day of and then missing the ship because their flight got delayed or changed. So we just went the day before. It was very relaxing. <laughs> I turned quite a few heads in the airport because the boots that I wanted to wear for the Saints and Sinners party on the cruise did not fit in any of my luggage. <laughs> These are some of the tallest boots that I own. I want to say they're five inch platforms. So I had to wear them through security to our gate. <laughs> I did change into my skull slides after we got in though, and then we landed at the Orlando airport. And there we got a free shuttle to our pre-cruise hotel. And the hotel was included in the price of the cruise, which was lovely. And unfortunately, I had two casualties due to the flight. One of the chains on my mermaid shell bra broke, but thankfully I brought pliers with me and some jams and bits and bobs popped off of my mermaid crown. And my boyfriend very cleverly suggested that we get crazy glue, which we found close to our hotel. And then I glued everything back together. The next day was embarkation day, AKA the day we get on the ship. And I only had three bags, guys. Be proud. <laughs> I left so many things behind that I wanted to bring, but I definitely overpacked, but that's okay. Better to be prepared. Our bus from the hotel to Port Canaveral left at 10 a.m. So we got up early, got dressed, and ate some breakfast before we left for the ship. The night before there was a party slash get together where everyone chatted and hung out. And we also got some announcements from Zeta as well as our Gothic Cruise wristbands, which are how we get into all of our events. We'd gotten Chipotle the night before, so that was my second breakfast. The bus ride was really relaxing. Everyone was either sleeping, listening to music, or chatting. And when we got to Port Canaveral, we saw several cruise ships, including a Disney one and ours. I recognized it right away, the Norwegian Escape. Then we got in line for security, which was a lot easier and faster than I expected. They do take your picture there to use for security to recognize you when you get on and off the ship for the rest of the cruise, which made for a few fun conversations for me because I was wearing a wig and a full face of makeup. And when I got off the ship at our ports, I was usually wearing neither of those, so they did not recognize me. <laughs> we got on the ship with no issues and got to put our stuff in our room. We got a balcony room, which was very, very nice. On my last and first cruise, I had an indoor cabin, so I felt very fancy having a balcony. There was so much storage space there for my clothing, thank God, as well as three outlets, a TV, bathroom, a cabin, Couch, and of course, the balcony itself, which had two chairs and a little table. We already had our freestyle daily in the room, which is the daily newsletter that Norwegian gives you to see what's happening on the ship, and that changes day to day. It also lets you know what time the sun rises and sets. We also had a safe, which is very handy for keeping our passports in. And in the bathroom, you get a conditioning shampoo and body wash, as well as a clothesline to hang up all of your wet clothing, which came in very handy. And there are some buttons in your cabin to let your steward know if you want them to make up your room, which they will do every day or if you want to not be disturbed we had lunch at taste one of the sit-down restaurants that are included in your cruise fare and sadly my lipstick did not hold up well after all the food they have maps of the ship by all the elevators so you know where you're going which is very helpful and we went up top to enjoy some live music before the ship set sail they have a party for that called the sail away celebration and we got a tour of the spa and went to the gym. I love that the gym has all these big windows so you can look out at the ocean as you work out. And back in the room, I put up all of my magnetic hooks to hang things on. And then we took one last look at Florida as we pulled out of the port. Then we met for our official Gothic cruise orientation in the gorgeous supper club. This is one of my favorite venues on the escape because it's all red and black velvet. Zeta answered any questions that we had and went over the schedule and rules of the ship. Speaking of which, here are the dress code rules for the restaurants. Unlike my last cruise, I did not get dress coded on the ship the entire time. Yay! <laughs> and then we had dinner with Rachel, aka Delia Le Fay, who was the whole reason I am on this cruise, so thank you, darling. It was so lovely to meet her. She is a fellow fashion YouTuber, and I'll leave her channel down below in the description. And for anyone who is gluten-free, 
free like me they do have gluten-free bread and options on the ship which was very exciting and i got a pina colada for rum reasons i have to have rum when i'm going to the caribbean <laughs> it's necessary and my makeup had been on for over 10 hours at this point but it was still looking pretty good urban decay setting spray for the win and we went to karaoke which was super busy and we found some fun door decorations and then we went to spice h2o a venue in the back of the ship for our kickoff dance party which was so much fun dancing on the back of the ship with the wind in your hair was the perfect start to the trip so day two was spent at sea so we just explored the ship it was nice and overcast in the morning so we enjoyed some time out on the balcony just looking out at the water it was very windy which styled my hair beautifully <laughs> and we were ambitious and took the stairs to breakfast at the buffet which is included in your cruise fare then we headed off to the gym to work out being on an elliptical while looking out over the ocean was fantastic and they have water and complimentary cold towels there which is also lovely we had a light lunch at Oceans because I was still stuffed from all the food from yesterday and I love unpacking and organizing so I put all of my swimwear on my hooks. I wore a grand total of two of these bikinis the entire trip. <laughs> they also have nooks for clothing under the TV which of course I took over. <laughs> then we had our first scheduled gothic event for the day which was the water slides as a group. So I slapped on my skeleton suit to protect my skin from the sun because I burn in two seconds. Unfortunately, all but one of the slides was closed due to the high wind, but we went on the one slide, which was fun. Then we checked out the waterfall feature on the back of the ship, which is one of my favorite things. You can go in it, splash around, walk through, and it is very fun to take slow-mo videos in there, which of course I did. <laughs> then we took over one of the hot tubs with a goth invasion. How many goths do you think fit in a hot tub? I have no idea. <laughs> I did some Harry Potter trivia and only got two wrong. I love that they have a bunch of events like this on the ship, different trivia nights, game shows. The waters were a little rough and this dessert shelf was having a very good time. <laughs> and there is a coffee spot on the ship that serves Starbucks. So we got some coffee in preparation for our first themed event that evening the saints and sinners party. This was my favorite outfit of the whole cruise that I wore. I hand cut and stoned the crosses on my chest and carrying slash wearing the boots through the airport was so worth it to wear them. I was a little worried about being dress coded because this outfit was so scandalous. So I wore some skin colored shorts underneath, but the employees at the party loved my outfit and they actually asked to take pictures with me instead of dress coding me. So that was a win. We all had dinner as a group at the supper club first, which was lovely because it was just the gothic group. No normal people allowed. We found some more cool door decorations and then we partied. I got to meet the twins Kim and Misty who were so nice. I loved all of their fashion choices. So cool. Dissector played a private show for us which was awesome and I managed to keep my boots on all night. I did bring slippers with me because I wasn't sure if I'd be able to dance in the boots but I did. They were actually quite comfortable. And then we went to bed. <laughs> I was up early enough the next day to kind of catch the sunrise. It was still pretty cloudy, but seeing the sun rays kind of cutting through the clouds was gorgeous. We had breakfast at the buffet and enjoyed the view as we pulled into Puerto Plata in the Dominican Republic. My boyfriend and I booked a shore excursion at Ocean World today, so we had to be off the ship at our meeting spot by 9 a.m. I put on my skeleton suit and the biggest black hat I own and we headed off the ship. If you book shore excursions, they will deliver the tickets to you in your room, which is very convenient. Then we got on our bus and it was a 20 minute ride to Ocean World. They had USB chargers in the bus, which was very handy because my phone battery dies so fast. And my favorite things about Ocean World are the birds and the snorkeling. There are dolphin, birds, sea lion, and shark shows as well. But being covered in birds is definitely my happy place. They give you bird seed and then they all fly down to eat out of your hands, which is so cute. They'll also perch on your head, your shoulders. And to answer the most important question, I know you're all asking right now. No, we did not get pooped on. <laughs> And this is the tank I got to swim in with the fish. They give you snorkel gear free of charge and you hop in. It is a saltwater tank. And I did bring my underwater camera this time so I could show you. This was definitely one of my favorite experiences. And even if you don't do a shore excursion in Puerto Plata, there are so many shops, bars, and places to eat right at the port itself. Then we headed back to the ship to prepare for our next themed event, David Bowie Night. I decided to wear my goth mermaid outfit, which I will have a DIY video for soon. I made my top, belt, and arm sleeves. Rotorson played a private concert for us and dancing with everyone was so much fun and everyone's outfits looked fabulous. There are so many creative people on the goth cruise. I loved it. I did party a little too hard that night and drank many drinks because I had the drinks package and I think all drinks under $14 were included. 
but I had a wonderful time dancing. <laughs> and most of these private goth events go until four in the morning, and then everyone goes to get food at Oceans, which is open 24 hours. The next day we docked at St. Thomas and we had our goth group excursion, which was swimming with sea turtles. My hangover wasn't as bad as I expected, so we got up bright and early at 9 a.m. to enjoy the views and grab some breakfast from the buffet. The water in the Caribbean is so stunning. It's bright blue and so clear you can see all the way down to the bottom. I wore my purple skeleton suit and a matching purple bikini because I am an undead mermaid. Once again, it was overcast just for us, which was lovely and we boarded our pirate-themed boat to the soundtrack of Pirates of the Caribbean, which made me very happy. For those of you who don't know, I am obsessed with Pirates of the Caribbean. And then we headed out to the island, and here's a clip of just how massive our ship is. There are 20 levels to the Norwegian escape, as well as water slides and a ropes course on the top. I perched at the very front of our boat so I could feel the waves, another one of my happy places. I did get splashed in the face quite a few times because the water was a bit rough due to the wind. Then we all got into the water with our snorkel gear and they provided you with everything you needed including life jackets or you could bring your own we got to see two sea turtles as well as a bunch of fish the turtles were so cute i even found some spiky black sea urchins so goth <laughs> Then after we finished snorkeling with the turtles, they took us to another spot called the Honeymoon Beach, which had a bar and food. We swam to shore from the boat and then explored the beach, walked around the island a little bit, and then we snorkeled some more until we had to go back. I was admiring the anchor I found from one of the nearby sailboats. On the way back, the water was so rough, it felt like we were on a roller coaster. The boat kept lifting up out of the water, which was so much fun. They brought us back to shore and we explored the shops there until we had to get back on board. We found some rum cakes, which are so delicious. These are one of my favorite things in the Caribbean and the coolest pirate shirt I have ever seen. So of course it had to come home with me. It glows in the dark. How could I not take it? <laughs> we stayed in St. Thomas until after sunset and it was so lovely to see the island at night with all of the lights. We had dinner and then we went to go take a group picture with all of the goths. <laughs> it was so cool to see all of us together in the ship's theater. Then we got ready for the next themed event, the masquerade ball. I wore my wig that I dyed myself and I managed to fit one of my collapsible hoop skirts in my bags. So I wore my big black Victorian gown. I couldn't fit my big peacock mask that I wanted to bring for this. So I wore this delicate black one instead and the ball was held in the supper club, the gorgeous red and black velvet room. Everyone's outfits looked so amazing and it was a little difficult to dance in my big hoop skirt, but I did it. On to day five where we docked at Tortola. We didn't have anything planned for this day. We had no shore excursions. So we just figured we would walk around and explore and we were docked right next to a German cruise ship called Mein Schiff. There wasn't much to see in the port town. There were a lot of touristy shops, bars, places to buy jewelry as well as food. You could walk right up to the water at some places, which was absolutely lovely. And we did find a Pirates of the Caribbean tour bus. Then we headed back to the ship and they handed you cold towels as you went back on board, which was lovely. Naturally, I put mine on my head. <laughs> the views of Tortola from the ship were very pretty. We went to the gym and discovered that there was a studio in the back. I had no idea this was there. There were weights, yoga mats, balls, and a bar, which I was very excited about because that meant I got to practice some ballet. I haven't danced in a long time, but I am going to blame my falling over on the movement of the ship, not my lack of practice. <laughs> I'm the only one in here right now, and they're playing a cover of Tainted Love. Love it. It's one of my favorite songs. <laughs> I think my favorite thing about the Gotha cruise in general is just how friendly everyone is. Like literally every single person I've talked to, so welcoming, so genuinely nice and friendly, which is really, really refreshing. Cause I've met a lot of judgmental goth and alternative people and that's not the case here. And I could not be happier about that. We enjoyed lunch at the buffet and then watched Tortola fade into the distance from our balcony. And then we went on the ropes course. Sadly, they did not allow us to film unless you had a GoPro with a chest harness, which I do not have, but it was a fun time. I'll insert some footage here from my cruise last year when I went on the same ship. And sadly, the zip line and walking the plank were closed due to high winds, so we could not go on them this time. And we checked out the onboard gelato and sweet shop, highly recommend. I got a key lime shell, which was delicious. Then we went back to our room to enjoy our rum cakes we'd gotten the day before and the sunset. Then we had dinner at Cagney Steakhouse, which is one of the specialty restaurants on the ship. It wasn't as good as I remembered from my last cruise, which made me kind of sad. The caramel cheesecake there was divine, but the surf and turf could have been better. And their wine selection was lovely though. The glass was as big as my face. <laughs> 
This was my dinner outfit, and this was my clubbing outfit for the night. I had a few people tell me that I looked like Lily from Legend, and it made my night. <laughs> and we had a private Combi Christ concert, and it was so much fun. I love their energy on stage. I wore sparkly cobweb heels, but they ended up coming off my feet about an hour into the show. I had to switch to flip-flops so I could dance. They're so gorgeous, but they hurt my feet so bad. The next day, we were at sea again, so we slept in. <laughs> I took the opportunity to shoot some fun slow-mo videos of my outfit and one of my wigs, and then I changed back into my comfy clothes. We had breakfast at the buffet, admired the chandelier, and ran around the ship a bit. They had an art auction that day, so we walked around the gallery just enjoying all the pieces for sale. They had so many beautiful pieces. I love the variety in the art they had on the ship. One of my favorite things about the ship is that you can book reservations for just about anything through your TV, so you do not have to talk to a person, <laughs> which is awesome for those of us with social anxiety. And we went back to the buffet for lunch. I love that they change up the food and what they serve. Today was taco day. And for my fellow goths who like to avoid the sun, one of the best things about the deck is that they have this shaded area all around the pool so you can walk from one side to another without ever being in the sun. Love that feature. There were a lot of people on our cruise, so I was really glad we had our own private events that only the goths could enter. And there was a group called the Nerds performing by the pool, so we watched them for a while. They were good. I'd never heard of them before. I got myself a coffin flask, which was so cute. The Gotha Cruise does have merch that you can purchase on their website, including t-shirts. And we enjoyed another beautiful sunset from our balcony balcony, and then we had dinner at Sabre. They had cream of asparagus soup, which I had never heard of before, but it was delicious. It was quite windy that night, so the chandelier was twerking. <laughs> then we went to Bayamo just for their key lime pie. It was so good. Easily the best dessert I've had on the ship. Then we went to karaoke, and then called it a night. And now for day seven of our cruise, we docked at Great Stirrup Key, which is Norwegian's private island, and this is in the Bahamas. You have to book a tender to get from the ship to the island, which can be done via your room TV. We had some villas booked for the goth group, which was a lovely experience. The main beach is beautiful, but it's also very busy because most people go there right off the ship. And it's public access, so everyone can go there and snorkel, rent jet skis, etc. And our villas were in Silver Cove, the private side of the island. We were taken there by golf cart and we saw so many lizards. There are a bunch of them just running around the island, which was awesome. We had our own private bars and buffet lunch there, as well as an infinity pool, air conditioning in the villas, and access to a private beach. There are swings for photo ops both by the villas and by the general access area, which is nice. I'm a big kid at heart, so swings always make me happy. We went snorkeling on the main beach, but we only saw fish there. No other wildlife. Last year I saw a stingray, so I was kind of hoping to see that again. I tried this waterproof eyeliner by NYX, and I was pretty impressed with how well it held up. This was after a full day of being in the sun, swimming, snorkeling, and then rubbing my eyes because I forgot that I had makeup on. <laughs> we had dinner at the French specialty restaurant on the ship, and I had escargot, which I love. It was one of the best dinners on the ship for us. Then we headed to the final goth party on the back of the ship. They played Thriller and so many great songs, and dancing on the back of the ship with the wind in my hair was an amazing end to the trip. It did feel very sad though, but we all went around getting each other's information for social media and just chatting. It was so nice. The next day was disembarkation where we got off the ship for the last time. We got one last breakfast at the buffet, and I still felt like I was on the ship once we got on dry land. Now I understand why Captain Jack Sparrow walks the way he does. We got back on our bus to the hotel, which was the same one as before the cruise, and just relaxed there until it was time for our flight home. I am so glad I went on this cruise. It was such a fun time. Thank you again to Zeta and to Rachel. Aside from being an amazing cruise, this trip was really special to me because I don't have a goth scene where I live. I am pretty much the only goth in town. Being able to just be myself and not have to worry about being judged by the people I was spending time with was so nice. And on top of that, we got all the private concerts and dancing and drinks. What more could you ask for? When I was telling my family about the Gothic Cruise, my aunt was saying, there's more people like you out there? There sure are. <laughs> I also wanted to say thank you to all of the Gothic Cruisers for making me feel so welcome and being so friendly. You guys are awesome. <laughs> I'll leave everything you need to know about the Gothic Cruise down below if you're interested in booking. I also have several videos on the channel talking about all the cruise details. So if you have any doubts about whether or not you should go on the Gothic Cruise, I'm here to tell you that you absolutely should. But I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <gasps> Can't breathe with this thing on. I think that's the idea. <laughs>
<laughs> that was for you. <laughs> ah, I don't know what I'm doing. Welcome back to my Chanel. Welcome back. Welcome back. <laughs> this just looks silly. <laughs> but I want to show off my sleeves and how big and pretty they are. Peekaboo. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 